Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Ravi Gupta. Today, we are going to talk about stern tube oil lubricated bearing. In today's video, I will tell you about the construction of stern tube oil lubricated bearing. Then, we will see how why cooling is required for stern tube bearing. And then, through a series of pictures, I will try to explain the stern tube lubrication system. And then we'll go and see how cooling of the stern tube is done. And then after we'll see how the weird problem of a stern tube oil lubrication system is solved. So this video is gonna be very helpful for all of you. And I guarantee after watching this video, you will have a clear idea of oil lubricated stern tube bearing. Friend, I have made video regarding the popular sub introduction to the advanced level please go in my playlist you can find it i will also give a description in my description box those who have not subscribed please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that if any new video come you can come to know and those who have subscribed please do share our video in a different platform like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, so that our marine friend can come to know and they can also enhance their knowledge. My sole purpose is to build this platform so that we can learn something from here. So now let's begin our new video of the stern tube oil lubricated system. So in this video, first let's see what are the elements which are used for construction of oil lubricated stern tube so oil lubricated stern tube are fitted in a stern frame with the elongated boss to provide better support for white metal line bearing so oil lubricated bearing is provided with a white metal line bearing and the bearing length is two times of the shaft diameter suppose if the shaft dia is 100 mm then the diameter of the bearing will be 200 mm Okay, now the bearing boost is provided with nodular cast iron. Okay, and if anybody asks you what is the composition of white metal, you should say it consists of 3% copper, 7.5% antimony, and remainder of tin. Okay, now let me show you this is a shaft. Okay, this is a forward seal, and this is a aft seal. This seal is called lip seal. Okay, this seal is called lip seal. And about the lip seal, I will explain in my next video. Just get the basic idea. This is seal is provided so that to keep the oil inside the system intact. Okay, now let's see. Construction of a stern tube oil lubricated bearing. Oil pressure within the stern tube is maintained. It approximate by the same level as that of surrounding water by a header tank okay so as you can see here is a header tank this if somebody asks you why this header tank is provided you should say the header tank is provided so that it will be able to maintain approximately the same oil pressure as that of surrounding seawater okay Oil is contained within the simplest type stern tube by lip seal. Okay, this is the lip seal. Okay, I will explain the system. Wait for, for some minute. Let me give you a basic construction idea first. Oil is contained within the simplest type stern tube by lip seal. The elastic lip of each nitrile rubber seal grip a rubbing surface provided by a short chrome steel liner at outboard and in both end of a steel propeller shaft. So <coughs> this is the lip seal which is been provided onto the chrome liner. This is the first, let me tell you, this is a propeller shaft which is made of stainless steel. On that, the area of lip seal is provided with a chrome lining face. This is a chrome lining face. Here you can see chrome lining face. And on that, lip seal is installed. The purpose of lip seal is that to ensure to prevent leakage. Second, to ensure there is no ingress of water in the system. 
okay so <coughs> this will give you a clear idea this is the lip seal how it look like this is the inboard this is the outboard lip seal and this is a garter spring which is holding the lip seal in place okay so the outboard liner additionally protect the steel shaft from sea water and corrosion so as i have told you if anybody asks you <coughs> why lip seal is provided you should take two things first it maintain the oil inside the system and continue the lubrication of the stern tube second it prevent the water ingress into the system okay now let me explain you this stern tube lubrication system so basically this is as you can see this is the aft side of the stern aft side of the propeller shaft here propeller shaft will come and this is the sea water area okay and this is the inward part of the thing here this is the stern frame okay and this is the aft peak bulkhead and in between the aft peak bulkhead and stern frame the inboard and the outboard seal is been installed the outboard seal lip seal are four in number and designed in this way two facing in this direction and two facing in inward direction that two facing in the outward direction basically purpose is to prevent the ingress of water and two facing in the inward direction purpose is to prevent to keep oil lubrication inside the system to prevent leakage and same here also okay now this is called forward seal this is called aft seal okay the number is taken the number of the lip seal if anybody asks you how the numbering of lip seal is done you should say it is done from the aft side 1 2 3 you can say 4 also or you can say 3s yes. 4 5 okay like that okay now let's see so this is the stern tube this hole is the stern tube on which the oil will flow so basically this header tank is provided from here the oil is coming and it divided in two part one is going to the aft seal and second part is going directly from center to the stern tube bearing for lubrication and now the question is asked okay so where the how the forward seal is lubricated forward seal is lubricated by its own header tank which is provided and which is continuously monitored okay <clears throat> now as you can see here the oil which is going is prov been provided in between the 3 and 3s okay and from 2 and 3 there is a line coming to this tank this is also filled with a oil okay now see here first the oil is coming from here it is fed up here is coming here is lubricating the whole system okay this whole system is lubricated this this area this area is one system okay this area and this 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 area is one other system two system for aft and one other system for forward i am not talking here about forward because forward is very simple and a small tank is provided in between two here and this will lubricate and will circulate the oil same is for here as you can see in between 2 and 3 a header tank is provided which is continuously been monitored with here a gauge glass is provided so that to continuously monitor the condition of oil if there is any leakage if there is any leakage there will be water will be seen in the gauge glass it should all ideally it should be oil if there is leakage the water will be seen in the gauge glass okay now as you can see here the oil is coming from here is lubricated is lubricating and from here it is going back to the system same from here the oil is coming from here is lubricating and again going back to the system one more thing you will notice that there is no pump there is no pump provided in the 
lubrication system what do i mean by no pump because the stern tube lubrication system is self sufficient for hydrodynamic lubrication with the help of the propeller shaft speed and self able to pump back the oil back to the header tank the now second question if anybody asks where the header tank is provided and why it is provided it should be just above the sea level so that to enough to maintain a positive head against the sea water level to make sure that there is no ingress of sea water okay now second thing is that that i have told already this why this is like that this is like that so that to ensure there is no leakage from the system to outside and to prevent the water ingress this is designed like this okay now this is a macro diagram in which you can see this is a outboard seal this is the inboard seal and this is the stern tube bearing with a white line metal and this is the propeller boss this side <coughs> okay how cooling of the stern tube is provided cooling at the outboard end is provided by c okay this outboard end this is called outboard end this is called outboard end means this part is being cooled means the top this part is being cooled with the sea water okay now inboard seal unlike those at the outboard end cannot dissipate heat to the surrounding oil circulation is added by convection and is arranged to maintain low temperature of the seal at the inboard end connection for circulation are fitted top and bottom between the two inboard seal and a small local header tank so as i have told you earlier in my this explanation that this is the outboard seal the some part of the outboard seal which is outboard which is exposed to sea water is been cooled with the help of sea water but the inboard seal area is been cooled with the help of the header tank for forward seal a small header tank is provided and the header tank design is provided in such a way that it has a fins in the header tank small fins for the header tank for a better cooling and quick cooling of the oil okay now the question come to our mind that why we require cooling means why this cooling lubrication okay we need lubrication because it's a bearing it's the stern to bearing for bearing we need lubrication for that i have provided oil okay but why this lip seals are required cooling and lubrication so that will be here heat produced by the friction will result in hardening and loss of elasticity of the rubber therefore cooling is required for stern tube seal so if there is no cooling in that case this lip seal which is also made up of rubber as you can see will harden over a passage of time and will lose its elasticity to seal and hence to prevent that lubrication and cooling both are carried out simultaneously by the oil so i hope you have got a clear idea how the stern tube lubrication is taking place now as it is a bearing as it is a seal it is subjected to wear wear and tear so how we are overcoming this the chrome liner act as a rubbing surface for rubbing lip seal but grooving from frictional wear has been a problem okay now the rubbing part means as i have told you this is the steel shaft this is the chrome lining face okay this is the chrome lining face so to prevent the continuous rubbing we have overcome the problem with the help of a chrome lining face but apart from rubbing it is also subjected to grooving okay this grooving part is overcome by shifting the lip seal in a axial direction that will i will tell you in my next video okay more deeply now the difficulty has been overcome by using a ceramic filler for the groove 
और अल्टरनेटिवली अ डिस्टेंस पीस टू डिस्प्लेस एक्सली द सील एंड रिंग असेंबली ओके एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दिस लिप सील लीकेज बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रूविंग कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ अ सिरेमिक फिलर और वी कैन डिस्प्लेस इट एक्सली सो दैट सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल हियर अ ग्रूविंग ऑकर इन दिस एरिया अ ग्रूविंग ऑकर सो व्हाट वी कैन डू दे आर प्रोविजन ऑफ अवर्डर सो दैट वी कैन शिफ्ट द लिप सील एक्सिल इन डायरेक्शन हेयर एंड दिस लिप सील वी शिफ्ट हेयर सो दिस ग्रूविंग एरिया विल नो मोर अफेक्ट द लीकेज एंड विल कॉल लीकेज बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डिसप्लेस द एक्सिली वी कैन ऑल्सो fill that area with the help of ceramic filler okay okay you, this will give a clear idea suppose here a grooving occur here here grooving occur so what i will do i will shift my seal from this position to this position actually be, because i have a provision here in which i can shift the seal so if this area is subjected to wear and tear it will not it will not cause a problem no more because i have shifted the seal or i can do the grooving i can fill it with the help of a ceramic filler okay allowance must must be made for relative movement of the shaft and stern tip due to differential expansion new seal are fitted by cutting and vulcanizing in position is very very important is very important if anybody asks you that okay you want to install a new seal how will you install so new seal is installed by a process called vulcanizing okay what is vulcanizing how the seal are installed we'll talk in next video okay so i think you have got a clear idea how the lip seal lubrication or you can say stern tube lubrication with along with lip seal is carried out in a oil lubricated system so if you want to know more about lip seal please remain tuned for my next video which will be coming in the next week every tuesday I post a new video on a different topic related to a marine engineering. Please do subscribe and share. Have a good day, friend. Image case goes to Mac Jones and the various other sources. Thank you, friend. Have a good day.